hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i would like to show you how you can add headers to the retrofit client so i wanted to build an app using the movie db api and as you can see i have this simple application but in order for me to get the data that the movie db api returns i needed to provide the api key or the bearish token to the retrofit client but if you go to the documentation of retrofit all it says is that headers that need to be added to every request can be specified using an octa http interpreter but then if you click on the octa http interpreter this is what you see and i think it can be a bit daunting for anyone who is starting out because what does this mean it's not straightforward it doesn't tell you how you can add headers to your request it just says that you need to implement an interceptor and there's a lot going on here and i think it can be quite confusing for anyone getting started with kotlin and android development using jetpack compose i'm not an expert when it comes to building android apps but this is something that i figured out whilst i was trying to implement this app so i thought i should just share it with you guys and hopefully it is useful as we saw the retrofit client does not give us an inbuilt way of adding headers to our request so what we need to do is to add the octa http library to our application to do that all you need to do is to go into your application go to your model app and what we need to do is that we need to add the octa http3 library and the library is essentially this okay so if i bring this here it's this all right and you can also find it here in maven because we're using kotlin for android development you need to add this okay um i've already added this as i showed you earlier so i'll go back to the application what we can now do is to create a function called octa http client all right so i'm going to create a private function because it's going to be private in the scope of the retrofit client um, this will take in the api key because we need to pass it this api key over here so i'll just copy and paste this for you it could be a string which is fine okay and the api key is essentially a data class that has got a value which is a string if i go back over here what i can now say is that this function will create a new octa http client so i'll say octa http client like so then i'll call the new builder on it and i'll do add interceptor and now the interceptor is essentially like a middleware so it will sit between the request getting to the movie db api server and when you actually make the request okay so it's like a middleware and then when you make the request it will intercept the request and then it will add the headers to the request and then it can go to the movie db api so we're gonna say objects okay that extends from the interceptor if we go back to the original octa http documentation it says that we need to implement this interceptor and then once we implement this interceptor what we need to do is that we need to override this intercept function which takes in a chain which is of type interceptor.chain i know it's confusing but just bear with me so what we're going to do is that we are going to come over here we have this object which extends interceptor and because we extend interceptor we are going to implement the intercept function so what i will do over here is that i will say that override the intercept function like so and within the intercept function i can get the request from this chain okay so i will say that val request of type request is going to be the chain dot request dot new builder dot header and the header takes in a key value pair okay so let me take away this um the key is going to be authorization like so and then the value is going to be the api key okay so it is going to be the api key that i have over here 
So I will specify this as this the API key dot value. All right. And then I can do the dot build on it. Now, once I have this, all I need to do is to return the chain dot proceed request. Okay. And essentially I need to say chain dot proceed and then I pass it this request. I'm specifying the type over here in Kotlin. I need to explicitly say return. Okay. So I will say return and this should now get rid of all the red underlying errors. So essentially what have we done? We built a new HTTP client dot new builder. Then we said that we want to add an interceptor. Then we created a new interceptor. Okay. And the interceptor has this intercept function that we need to implement. The intercept function takes in a chain, which is of type interceptor.chain, and then it returns a response. All we've just said is that chain.request.newbuilder, so the chain.request will give us the request. We call the new builder on the request, and then we add header, and then we add authorization, which is the API key, and then we call the build function on the request. Once we've called the build function on the request, we are saying that return chain dot proceed request. Like, hey, I have added the request to it, so proceed and go to the server that I'm trying to reach with the header that has got the authorization and the API token that the server that I'm trying to reach needs. All right. So I have this now, and all I need to do now is to call the dot client method on the retrofit builder. Okay. So I will come over here and I'll say dot client and I just need to pass it this thing over here. So I'll pass it the Octa HTTP client. Once I've passed it the Octa HTTP client, I need to pass it the API key over here. And then I need to call the dot build method on this, all right? to get the octa HTTP client because that is what the client actually needs. So um, you see the client needs a client of type octa HTTP client. So now that I have this, I will be able to execute my request using the bearers token that I've specified over here. This is how you add headers to your retrofit client to make a request to an external server that requires you to have an access token. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you very much for listening and I'll catch you in the next video. <music>